Melania Trump has revealed she's been pro-choice her entire life, but kept it hidden from the public and even from Donald Trump. Now she's releasing a memoir 30 days before the election, and some see it as a cash grab. The memoir touches on how people close to Trump didn't always agree with him, yet still supported his actions for financial gain. For example, Ivanka told him there wasn't any election fraud, but he told her to act like there was, and she went along with it. Similarly, Melania, despite being pro-choice, supported Trump's agenda and benefited from his political success. With 35 days left, be sure to like and subscribe. Melania Trump is passionately defending abortion rights in her upcoming memoir. In an exclusive quote, she writes, I have carried this belief with me throughout my entire adult life. This is a major revelation from the former First Lady, set to be published just a month before the election. The memoir states that Melania has long been a strong supporter of a woman's right to make decisions about her own body, including the right to an abortion. The book includes several quotes reinforcing her stance, making it a surprising turn for someone so closely tied to the Trump administration. I'm really curious about how Melania Trump feels about Donald Trump's role in overturning Roe v. Wade with the Supreme Court's decision. I want to share this clip from her new interview with Sean Hannity that just came out. Wow, you were expecting it all. I did because I saw how they treat, treat him, how the media was uh, against him. I think they are afraid of his strength and he was leading this country with uh, peace through strength. It's common to hear Republicans reference peace through strength and some feel that Melania Trump may be using phrases she picked up from her husband or was coached to say. When Melania speaks publicly, it's often reported that she's paid well for her appearances, with figures sometimes reaching six digits. In this clip, she claims that Donald Trump is being targeted because of his strength. However, others argue that he faces scrutiny because of the many controversial statements he's made censoring politics such as questioning Obama's birth certificate and making claims about Hillary Clinton. This has led to frequent fact-checking by the media, which might create the perception of disproportionate coverage. In her memoir, Melania Trump stated, It is imperative to guarantee that women have autonomy in deciding their preference of having children based on their own convictions, free from any intervention or pressure from the government. This comment comes during a campaign where Donald Trump's stance on women's reproductive rights has been now, a central issue. Now, this is also pretty obviously Some see a this campaign as a political stunt. Move. Because think about especially it. Republicans, Republicans all across the country, especially MAGA Republicans, Republicans are have been hemorrhaging support, support from women, from women due, to due to Donald Trump's role directly leading Roe v. Wade being overturned. Wade Wade being Wade. overturned. So now, now Melania, Melania publicly, Trump publicly claiming, claiming that she's pro-choice pro seems more like a desperate headline grab more so than anything else. She's trying to convince suburban women that the Trump family isn't entirely against abortion, that the, that, the family family that the Trump family doesn't want to strip your rights away totally, but to be honest, rights. this move makes Trump's However, position worse, not Trump's better. This does not soften Trump's it. position. It makes it how worse because how can they expect to win back voters when Trump, when Trump himself has stripped away a right so, so fundamental to, women, to so many women, including something his own wife disagrees with? There is a massive disconnect between Melania Trump's words, Donald Trump's actions in the past, and the way that Donald Trump appointed the Supreme Court justices like just to land a spot in history. I would bet money, I don't know for a fact, I would bet money that even Trump himself a while back was pro-choice, has probably been involved in a few abortions himself, but is only movement. banning. Melania Trump's recent comments on women's rights and abortion have sparked a lot of conversation. She's quoted saying, why should anyone other than the woman herself have the power to determine what she's doing with her body? and supports the idea that women should have the right to terminate a pregnancy if they choose. While many might agree with the sentiment, it feels a bit disingenuous given the timing, just 30 days before an election. It's hard not to see this as a calculated move to win back suburban women voters, especially after the backlash Donald Trump faced for his role in overturning Roe v. Wade. Melania's words might resonate with people who support a woman's right to choose, but coming from her, it feels like a political maneuver rather than a heartfelt stance. If this has been her belief all along, why didn't she challenge her husband's anti-abortion agenda earlier? 
The book she's releasing seems to show her being out of step with the majority of her party, and it raises questions about her actual views. Some might even wonder if Melania holds more liberal views behind the scenes, but has gone along with the Trump narrative to maintain her status. After all, she has previously defended her nude modeling work as an expression of art, something more aligned with liberal values than the conservative platform. But again, while this may reveal some personal beliefs, it doesn't erase the fact that she has stood by during a time when women's reproductive rights were significantly rolled back, particularly under the Trump administration. This whole moment seems like an attempt to recast her image, but many might see it as just another instance of opportunism. Let's check out this clip from Melania's recent interview and hear what she had to say directly. It's interesting how quiet and everything became, all of the mainstream media. There were a few days of reporting about July 13 event and everything then became quiet. So I had a lot of questions. What's going on? It's, this is not normal. And is it really shocking that all this egregious violence uh, goes against my husband? It's not surprising if you followed Donald Trump's public statements over the years. The way he talks about both his political opponents and even his allies when they disagree with him makes it less shocking when someone like Thomas Matthew Crooks who isn't even politically affiliated, takes drastic action. This isn't just a Trump problem. You can trace it back to figures like Newt Gingrich, who introduced a more aggressive style of politics, calling Democrats communists and idiots. This approach has shaped the way American politics looks today. Now, Trump has been trying to take credit for the Dobbs decision, which overturned Roe v. Wade, something conservative donors and voters had long wanted. At the same time, though, he's been trying to dodge the backlash by suggesting abortion rights should be left up to voters. Trump's lack of a clear stance on abortion has been frustrating. He uses political double talk, saying both leave it to the states and I was the one who overturned Roe. This kind of vague language is also how he handles other issues, like Ukraine, where he doesn't offer a clear position, but just says, we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, Vice President Harris has laid out plans on issues like health care and housing, yet Trump remains competitive in the polls despite not offering clear solutions. Democrats, on the other hand, have had success in recent elections by focusing on protecting abortion rights, even in conservative states. The threat to reproductive rights, including fertility treatments like IVF, has been a growing concern for many voters, hurting Republicans' chances even in traditionally red states. J.D. Vance, Trump's pick for VP, has added to the confusion. He's flipped positions multiple times on whether he would support a national abortion ban, leaving even more uncertainty. Trump himself has been unclear on whether he would vote to protect abortion rights in Florida, where he and Melania live. Melania, based on her recent statements, seems likely to vote in favor of abortion rights, which would be a stark contrast to Trump's position. I'll admit, I didn't expect any bombshells from Melania's book when it was announced, but I was wrong. Her pro-choice statements were clearly dropped as part of a calculated campaign move, possibly to appeal to more women voters. It feels very manufactured. Let me know what you think in the comments.